Hi there. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to use the discounted dividend model to find the cost of equity. Um, and to do this, we need a few pieces of information. Um, and the first thing that we do is, um, in the last video, remember I said, just before you download the dividends, jot down the share price. This is where we're going to use it. So if you, writ if you wrote down, if you writ down, I can speak English, if you writ down the share price, go ahead and plug it in. If you didn't, go look it up and come back. We need the share price and we need the annual dividends. Annual. Annual is the key word, right? So here's a little bit of information. I'm going to kind of create a, a list of steps to help you here. I'm getting annual dividends. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is bring in all of the dividend history. You already have that here. So we're going to go to the dividend history, highlight date, highlight dividends, command shift down enter, highlights everything, command C for copy, bring it over here to our WAC tab, give yourself some space, and paste it. So the, that's our dividend history. We brought it all in. And you'll see here that with the dividends four times a year, that's quarterly dividends, but we need annual dividends. So what I like to do is um, type in the years. And so here I would say, I'll just go right here, I'll say year, and then I'll put annual dividend. And my years are 2014 all the way back to 2004. And I could type that in 2013, 2012, 2011, but I like to make it easier by saying that this cell, the cell that I'm in is equal to the previous cell minus one. That's using relative references, right? So then I take 2013 and I drag it down all the way to hopefully 2004. I need one more. Great. So now I've typed in my years. I'm going to make these pretty because when they're pretty, you're happy. At least I am. Simple pleasures. Now I need to get my annual dividend. So the third step is to use Excel's function sum to calculate the annual dividend for each year. So it's quite simple. It's going to be equal to all the dividends paid in 2014. Make sure you get just the ones paid in 2014. And you're going to do this a lot of times. You're going to do it for each year. Then you get all the 2013 data. Then you're going to get all the 2012 data. You obviously don't need to see me do this every single time, so I'm going to pause this and I'll resume when. All right, and now that I have all the dividends e entered in annual format, see? I'm going to format them because it's nice to have things formatted nicely. Dollar signs, two decimals, perfect. But now what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to delete this. And let me just show you really quickly what happens if I just delete it. Right? I want to delete it, not insert, cancel. Delete it and shift everything to the left. Watch what happens. I lose this. I lose these because these contents are linked to cells that are no longer there. So you can, I can use Command Z or the undo button. Oh, what do you mean? There we go. So I need some way around this. And the first thing I need to do is I need to scoot my instructions over. But now I want to get the annual dividends in a way that allows me to delete everything I don't need. So we calculated the dividends, and our next step is to copy the annual dividends and use paste special. So here's copy and paste special. Copy, Command C, click where you want them. I right click and I go to paste special. It'll be, you might have to go up here and find it on your computer. Uh, you can use help to find it. It'll be easy to find. All versions of Excel have it. 
And I'm going to keep, since I already formatted those numbers, I'm going to keep the values and the number formats. There we go. Now I can do a lot of deleting, right? I can delete this. And I can delete all of these. Shift everything to the left. And there are my dividends. So I use I copy the annual dividends and use pay special. And then I delete the unnecessary information, right? Or delete everything but the years and the annual dividends. Right? So that's what you're going to do. Now you have your annual dividends. Perfect. How long has this video been? Six minutes? All right, I'm going to do another one. I'll stop here and I'll pick you up in the next video where it shows you how to use the Gordon discounted dividend model to actually calculate the cost of equity.